So Big Ed and Liz broke up and we finally get Liz's side. It's completely different than Ed's, but who's surprised? That's what I want to talk about today. So on 90 Day of the Single Life, Ed and Liz went to Vegas uh, so that Liz could meet Ed's daughter, Tiffany. They went to a bar and Liz overheard Tiffany and her friends um, nasty talking Ed or her and Ed. And so Liz left, decided to go back to the hotel after Ed was pushing, 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 pushing her to figure out, to find out what was wrong. And she didn't want to talk about it in public. So she goes back to the hotel. They both go back to the hotel. And as Ed has told us, she called the airline, booked a ticket and left. But that is not what Liz's side of the story says. Liz says, okay, so on her social media, you know, whenever someone posts something about, you know, that sounds random, seems like it's about, you know, a narcissist or whatever, it sounds like it's directed at someone, it's always directed at someone, especially with these um, reality TV people, it's always directed at someone. Anyways, on Liz's social media, she posted something that says, and I'll post it here. It says, at the beginning of the relationship, the narcissist will get to know you very well. Mm, preach. He'll wanna know everything about you, your likes, your dreams, your hopes, but more importantly, your fears, your hurts, your embarrassing secrets, and the things you would give your life to protect. He's so easy to talk to. In fact, you've never met anyone like him in your life. You truly open up to him and share everything, but then when the mask slips, you realize that he uses those things against you. So she posted that first. And then she tells us what actually happened in Vegas and how she actually left. She says, I left Ed's ass in Vegas because Tiffany's friend was so rude making the comments and Tiffany pried it into it. I didn't want it to affect Ed's night because it, he was oblivious to it and I kept quiet. For him, I tried to be the bigger person. Ed tried to pick a fight in Old Town Vegas in front of a crown, I think she meant crowd, asking me what was wrong and I didn't want people recording us. I think on one of my last videos, and I'll post that somewhere here too so you can see, you can watch it if you want. Um, he kept picking, he kept bugging her and bugging her and bugging her about what was wrong and she said, I, I don't want to talk about it in public. and he classic Ed, just kept picking, 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 picking. I hate people like that, drive me nuts. And she, so she went, they went back to the hotel. Anyways, let me get back to this. Um, he said he was, she said he was asking me what was wrong and I didn't want people recording us. I kept my mouth shut, begging him to talk about it in private. He kept pushing for it. We got back to our hotel and Ed was so upset. I didn't want to discuss something so personal in public. He called, he called the airline in front of my face at 3 a.m to book a ticket home, trying to leave me in Vegas. He left the room to finish the call and I didn't know he didn't go through with it. Me thinking he went through with it, I went online and booked a ticket myself. $400 later and me being a mom on a budget, I left. I'm not sorry for it. That little garden gnome tried to trick her into believing that he booked a ticket and was gonna leave her in Vegas. Seriously? Are we surprised though? I am glad that she dumped him. Very glad. About time. Don't know what she ever saw in him in the first place. We also have to remember that they don't see what we see. We know Ed because we saw who he was with Rose and we saw him trying to date and all that. We know we on the other side of the camera know what kind of person Ed is. She didn't know what kind of person Ed was until she started dating him. I guess now she knows what kind of person Ed is. But yeah, that's the story. Ed, of course, tried to scare her into believing he was going to leave her in Vegas and then turned around and said that she is the one who booked the ticket and left him in Vegas. Well, you know what, Ed? You reap what you sow. I'm glad she dumped your ass. Sorry. <laughs> but I am glad she dumped his ass. That's all I got for Ed and Liz today. My name is Debbie. This is Sheality TV. I will see you next time. Peace.
Thank you.